Hey YouTube, so here's the 5 gallon Fluval Chi tank. Uh, I know it's been about a month since I've uploaded a video. I really wanted to show off how well these crypts are doing. I'm relatively certain at this point that it's Crypt Wenti because the stems have a bit of a reddish tint to them. And then the leaves get real tall, a little bit brown, and kind of crinkly around the edges. It might be a cross between Parva and Wenti, but if anybody with more experience can tell me, that would be awesome. A lot of the leaves have this weird kind of V pattern on them, those dark Vs. I'm not sure if that's some sort of patterning from the plant or if that's a nutrient deficiency. So. Again, somebody with crypt experience, that'd be awesome if you could let me know. Other than that, not much has changed. I've kind of let the uh, wisteria grow a ton. And uh, I haven't done anything to these crypts since I propagated them. And they all have two or three plants now at the base, which is great. I'm going to use them when I get my 30-gallon tank in a couple of months. I trimmed back some of the java moss here because it was just getting way too overgrown. I recently threw some Daphnia in. You can see it floating up there. The fish, they don't eat it in five minutes like you, the instructions say, but they like to pick at it for an hour or two. So I usually just put a little bit in there and let them eat it as they want. Additionally, the shrimp in this tank are doing really, really well. I have some babies that I've spotted. See if I can spot any over here. There's some on that shell. There's a baby. There's a baby. Let's see if my camera will focus that small. I don't think I can hold it still long enough for it to focus. Okay. You can see a baby shrimp there. So far I've spotted five to ten babies. I suspect that a decent amount have been eaten by the fish by now, but that's okay. I wasn't really going to make this a shrimp breeding tank per se, but any extras from the population I would take to sell. So the fish help keep that population in check so it doesn't crash, but I still have enough to pull out eh, 15 or so and sell every couple of months, so I can't really complain about that. show you the back of the tank too and you can see that wisteria has just taken off it's a really good plant to have uh, the other update that I have is this light up here I did a review several videos back um, it has a function where you can do blue lights, blue and white, or white, and uh, this bottom blue strip here, it's kind of hard to pick up on the camera, but it's flickering pretty badly, so I've been running just the light with just the white. It hasn't seemed to affect plant growth or any of the fish or anything. Uh, the light was only 15 bucks. It lasted something around six months before those blue ones started going out there's no problems with the white LEDs so I really don't have any complaints about it and if I eventually have to replace it soon it's not that expensive of a replacement I've been slowly purchasing hardscape for my uh, 30 gallon that's coming up soon. I figured I'd show you some of those just so that I've showed the wood that I've purchased for it before. I found a geode when I visited home. 
that uh, kind of has a little bit of a cave right here. I figured this would be cool to sit somewhere in the middle of the tank. I'm anticipating having somewhat of a concave layout where the two sides are tall hardscape and then the center is low. One side is going to be rocks, the other side is going to be wood, and then in the middle I think I'm just going to throw that geode and have plants throughout. But plans change. This, this tank has evolved pretty significantly from when I initially started it. If you look at some of the first couple of videos, it's really changed from what I initially envisioned, but this is pretty... This layout here is one that I'm very satisfied with. It's very heavily planted. The tank is almost self-sustaining at this point. The only thing that happens is nitrate gets pretty high after about a week and a half. Um, I'm hoping that as the plants mature, they'll eat more nitrate because they'll need it to feed, so... We'll see where that goes. I'm testing the water pretty regularly just to make sure. Uh, my favorite fish is still my honey gourami up here. I'm relatively confident that it's a female at this point. Um, it's got very rounded fins. It hasn't turned brighter colors around breeding time or anything. So I count myself lucky that I got a female. I can use it to breed in the 30 gallon if I want. Uh, the females are generally a little bit harder to get. I think it's just fun to try to breed fish and see see how it goes. I'm never going to try to breed the neons, though. They're pretty sensitive. So I see I'm at about seven minutes, but I haven't stopped talking that whole time, so I'm just going to sit back and put the camera on the tank and be quiet for a little bit. Alright, thanks for watching.